I remember Andrea said, um, he has been following me and watching me for a year. I raised my hand because she came back to one of our associations here for family home chapter providers. And then she came back again recently for a chamber of commerce event that a few of us had participated in. And one young lady had sent an email to her. She said, oh, awesome. I would come out great to meet the class that we were in. And my husband had been watching you as well. I didn't know. Because he goes through my email sometimes to answer them. He was like, oh, this is a, do you see this lady, Miss Dickerson? You know, she's, you know, she's really on point. And I was like, yeah. I said, you know, I'll read her the little snippets you send out every Wednesday and something for the month. I was like, yeah, you know. And I had a girlfriend of mine, she was in the class right now. I won't say who she is. <laughs> said she matched her. She's like, oh, she's really nice. You need to listen to her. But my aha moment came when he said, write your, write your vision and make it plain. What was funny, because when I first started four years ago, God told me to write my vision and make it plain. Now, when God speaks, you just got to move. But the reason why it was an aha moment for me is when I met Andrew this year, my husband said, you need to connect with her because her vision is plain. And I was like, wow, okay, God, I hear you. So I, thought I purchased some of her items. And I was like, wow, you know, awesome. I said, I didn't think about this. You had a lot of stuff I did not conceive in my head. And I, I think I'm a pretty savvy businesswoman. But Ms. Dickerson has something that is beyond savvy. It's God-given. So with that being said, my, that was my aha moment. I'm going to, it's not connecting. I'm going to latch on to you like a leech. <laughs> and let, let help you. I want you to help me birth what God has in me. So you're my midwife. Thank you. Uh -huh.